Morning. As I said uh, in my last video, we just unpacked the new Z900 RS. Um, I'm really excited about this model. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of hype about it, a lot of waiting, um, and it's finally here. I, I, I'm, I'm excited. It's raining at the moment, so as soon as it dries up, we're going to go for a run. But um, uh, yeah, it's um, it's as good as uh, what they say it is. Um, it's got some massive features on it. You've got this new headlight. It's a six-section headlight. Um, don't ask me what it does, but it looks really cool. They say it, it shines a better light and so on. Uh, traditional, traditional uh, instrument panel there. And the switcher on it runs through with all your your digital bits there. It's got all your, your features, got gear indicator there, obviously it's got your fuel gauge, um, your, your temperature, it's got your uh, oh, traction control, see up here it's flashing, one, two, and you can also turn it off, off, traction control off. I might put it on one just in case we go for a ride, she's a bit wet this morning. Um, your neutral, your time, it's also got your range, kilometres, average kilometres per litre, uh, yeah, kilometres a litre at the at the time, trip B, trip A, and your, your odometer. So packed with features. Also got your ABS light, because this comes standard with ABS, as most bikes do now. Really cool, that's what we used to call it, the Jaffa style. Um, now these bikes, the original Z9 was built uh, when I was born, so that shows you how long the history is, if you have a look at me. Um, pretty ancient. Um, the tail section is extremely similar to the original Z9 um, with that, the tank, the badges and so on, the old, the old school seat, um, modern features, modern technology, it's got the 948cc Kawasaki 900, uh, Z900 engine in there with some air flutes just to give it that traditional look um, in there. It's got your slip of clutch, clutch assist, all those things that we rave on about with, with the Kawasaki um, beasts. Um, yeah, fully adjustable suspension, upside down forks, twin disc brakes. Um, little things like the exhaust pipes. The exhaust pipe is actually, it's a double layered exhaust pipe. So the, the exhaust pipe, the standard bits inside, then it's got this other layer outside. Now that's so the pipes don't colour up and get that really blue, purpley colours and so on through it. So they stay that that nice that nice chrome colour as well. Um, really good feature is this exhaust pipe. It's a small pipe. Um, it's tuned. They've tuned this pipe so that it, it has a good note from when you're from start up. So you know, you're going for a ride, you pull up, you have a burger, uh, a coffee and so on. Um, to go up to start the bike. I'm going to start it up, Trevor. You're going to jump down near there, mate, and we'll. It does have to pass ADR standards and emission standards and noise standards and so on, so you're never going to get that loud bark like you're going to out of an aftermarket pipe. But as a standard pipe, not only it looks good, it sounds pretty, pretty neat. Um, some really good things, it's got LED indicators. zip up the road and back and we'll, we'll film that and I'll chuck that up in a second as well so bear with us and I'll uh, go and do it.
can't wait to take this one for a ride. The power is awesome. It's really good. Really good. So easy. Um, just comes on like that. It's just nice and smooth. Um, yeah, fun. Sun's out. I'm going for a ride. Woohoo! <laughs> Yes, works good.